Hey guys, so today here in Arizona has been a really gloomy, rainy, cold, blah kind of day. Yeah, it's one of those kind of Saturdays. So I wanted to share with you guys what I think is going to be a great fast and easy dinner recipe. Um, it's five o'clock here and I haven't gotten dinner started. I have this lazy disposition about me and a new recipe that I wanna show you guys. I haven't tried it yet, so we can experience this for the first time together. It's going to be with the Campbell's skillet sauces. This is the Marsala mushroom and garlic mix. And I think it's gonna be perfect for um, a lazy day dinner to put together really quick and easy. Um, I'm hoping it's a restaurant style S cause Michael is on his way home from work and he is expecting a meal. So <laughs> let's get started. So for this skillet meal, you are going to need some skinless boneless chicken. I cut mine into tenders cause I feel like that's going to be easiest to eat for my family. You're also obviously gonna need a package of the flavor that you want. Mine's the Marsala mushroom and garlic sauce. A pound of pasta, I'm doing angel here cause again, I feel like Marsala, you think long pasta, Italian, that kind of thing. And one tablespoon of oil. So the first thing that we're going to do is I have turned on my pan and put in our one tablespoon of oil. And we're gonna warm up our pan to a medium heat here before we put our chicken in. Okay, our pan is heated up and we are going to put the chicken in. You wanna make sure that your oil isn't getting so hot that it's burning, just so the pan is nice and warm that we can get this sizzling sound to sear this one side of the chicken breast. Now we're going to cook these uncovered until they are lightly golden brown. Now while we're waiting for our chicken to brown, let's put our pot of water on to boil to get ready for our pasta. Now that our chicken is nice and golden brown, flip some of these over here. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step which is to actually put the Campbell's skillet mix into the pan. It says stir in sauce and heat to a boil, reduce heat to low, cover and cook for five minutes. So let's go ahead and add our mix. It's kind of a thick mix. I thought it was gonna be maybe a little bit of a thinner sauce, but this is great. This is nice and thick. I probably ripped it the wrong way, which is why I'm having a difficult time actually getting it out of the package. Let's see. So let's stir this in and wait for it to boil. Our pan's already warm, so it's gonna heat up real quick. Make sure we're covering all of our chicken. Now, while this simmers until a light boil, which we're then going to cover it and let that simmer even more, let's put our pasta in and get that going. All right, our pasta is in and I think I see our sauce boiling. So let's go ahead and put a lid on it. And we're going to lower the heat down just to a simmer. Mix our pasta in so it doesn't stick. Is this down? All right, great. Now we just wait. Let's pour pasta out. Okay, so my camera died, so I'm switching over to my phone, but this is the final look here. It looks delicious, and I will come up here and let you know how it is.
Okay, so we have just finished dinner, and I would have to give this one a thumbs down. Um, while the flavor, when I got a nice bite of mushrooms and sauce, the pasta, the chicken, it was delicious. But for the rest of it, it was really lacking in the sauce. So we would probably need like three packages to make it um, what we would prefer um, for our dinner to be like. Um, but by the time you buy three packages, you're kind of already paying for a dinner out. And I wouldn't have to do dishes if we went out. So, um, I mean, if I found these on sale, I'd probably pick them up again. But uh, not as a normal everyday or once a week meal kind of thing. Um, but I hope you liked this video. Anyways, maybe I showed you uh, something new or... I uh, gave you some advice on a product that you haven't tried yet, so let me know what you think, and I will see you later. Bye.